So can we talk about how you gonna act like I didn't want to drive? Go. I'll drive. <laughs> I had to get an oil change and I couldn't go yesterday. Can I get some? Then this morning I told you I just need to get gas and oil. The night before we left the house, we talked about whose car we were taking. We agreed that she was gonna drive and we were taking her car. And the morning she gets wishy-washy about whose car we want to take and hits me with the, so whose car we're taking? Not about what you said, just how you said it. How did I say it? Hello? My husband is mad because I didn't end up driving. And like, why does that matter? Maybe he's just like stressed out, I guess, about final decisions, so who knows? I was just bringing it up just as far as, okay, well, we need to go because I need to get these two things done for the car before we leave. I'm still figuring out who she is, and I don't like when you say something and then do something different. Like, I'm not sure if that's the person I want to be spending the rest of my life with. You got weird about it. I didn't. So, so who's covering you guys? As in, I'm not trying to take my car. Like, we already talked about it. Because I didn't get an oil change. We talked about it last night on the drive home. Her reaction, it makes me a little nervous just because I do worry about the future 20 years down the road. I don't want to be that couple that just don't agree on anything. At this point, I feel like that's all we're doing so far. No, I'm saying I, I didn't have, my car was on E, and I knew, OK, if we were so in the morning. Why'd was... you have to say that? Like, who cares if your car was on because E? Because we were already running, gas station. OK. How'd you know what my car was on? We were going to have to get gas regardless. When he gets super annoyed with me, it just makes me really nervous and really scared for the future, because we only have a few days before final decision. I just can't seem done. I know, it's not about winning, but it's just about how I feel about the situation. So F what I said. Conflict is necessary in a relationship or marriage. Two people are not always gonna feel the same way about an issue. Conflict isn't good, however, if there's not compromise, discussion, and they need to have the maturity to deal with the things they don't like in language that is not hurtful to their partner. Yeah, this rain is crazy, huh? Chuff <laughs> <Jeff> D. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I feel real sad. Is it the rain? We need to learn how to disagree, not attack each other and fight each other. Because when you're with someone, you're a unit, you're a team. So when he is down and I'm up, I'm grabbing his hand for us to go together. That's what marriage means to me. I will get over it. I hope so. <laughs> I'm not doing this with you. I'm just not. <laughs> you, you can't drive anyways, because you don't have any glasses. <laughs> 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 I'm just proud that we're able to come back from this situation and be at the place where I know we can be and where we need to be for each other, especially before going to final decisions. It shows that he cares and he just wants it to work as much as I do. <laughs> I don't understand how this works. Yeah, it's crazy, right? That's marriage for you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>